Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use variables to keep score in your food catcher project. Okay, so a variable is a um, something that can change in your project like a score, so your score can get higher or lower, or you can even set it to something like true or false, or set it to uh, like letters like my name, Jared, whatever. So variables can store all sorts of information that can change in your project. In this project, we're going to use variables to keep score. So what I want to do is I want to first set up my score. Second, I want to be able to earn a point. And third, I want to be able to lose a point in this game. So I'm going to create three different functions. One is called setup. Two is called earn a point. And three is called lose a point. So I went to my blocks. I made a block. Now I got three of them right here. And now I need to actually add some code into them to do what I want. So first thing I want to do is I want to set up our variable. So I'm going to go to the variables right here, and I'm going to make a variable, and I'm going to call it something like score. Now there are two options here. One is for all sprites, which means all of your sprites will get this, the new blocks that are going to appear. Or for the sprite only makes it so that only this food sprite can use this variable. For this one, um, I'm just going to go ahead and use for all sprites. OK, so I have my score right here. And I can change that by right clicking. So it's a larger one, a slider, whatever. However, what I wanted to do was to set my score to 0 at the very beginning when the green flag is pressed. So even if we have a, um, let me go ahead and delete this other one, my variable. Even if we have a high score, once we press the green flag, it resets our score to zero. Now, I want to make it so that I can earn a point when I catch the food with the bowl, so when it touches it. So to do that, I'm going to actually add into this code right here a conditional. Now, the condition is going to be if touching the bowl, then I want to earn a point and then reset the sprite so it goes back to the top. Okay, so to earn a point inside of this function, I'm going to use a variable block called change, and I'm simply going to change my score by one. So now check this out. If I touch it, it just changed by one, by one, by one. Awesome. Now I want to make it so that when the food falls to the ground and I don't catch it, I actually lose a point. So to do that, I can, in my lose a point function, change the score by minus one, and when I want it to do this is if it gets all the way to the bottom, right here, we're going to lose a point. So now, see I went to two, now it's going to go to one, etc. So I can earn a point by catching a banana, or I can lose a point by letting it fall to the ground. So you're going to create three functions. One is a setup, one is earn a point, and the other is lose a point. You're going to create a variable that you're going to call something like score. And then you're going to add in the code right here to make it so that if you touch the bowl, you earn a point and reset the sprite to the top. Otherwise, if it falls all the way to the bottom, you're going to lose a point. So add this code to your project uh, and have some fun experimenting with variables. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.